Today I'm going to show you how you can make the first step of your own find it jar. It's like a three-dimensional search and find. You know those books that you can usually get for like something to do in the car? Well this is a 3D version made with things that you have at home and this is an example that I have here. I have a lot of different items in this jar and whenever I am stressed or when my kids are stressed or when we're even on a long car ride, this is something very tangible, very tactile, like meaning you can touch it. Also something that can be very calming if you're stressed out because when we can engage with something very physically, very tangibly, uh, it completely can um, allow our brains to start to calm and center and be able to be reflective, which is going to allow us to be able to engage better with people and have stronger relationships. So uh, I'm going to lead you along on how to make one of these find it jars. Our next step is to grab a camera. It can be one that you have on a phone or it can be a regular old separate camera. I think that it's best if you shoot straight down like this on a white piece of paper because then it's gonna be a nice clean print when you actually print it and it will use less ink. So I have everything laid out on that nice white piece of paper and I'm just gonna take my photo. 